Now that we've created our positioning scattergram, it's time to add some cool graphics like labels as well as a subject property with pricing quadrants so we can really position to win and visually show what we're talking about and how we compare to other properties that really match up with us either price or size wise. So the real question it comes down to is we want to be able to show things rather than just tell them. And how do we make this a really a, a great way of showing? Now if you remember we're, we're talking about this property here and how well we can position against that. So let's go ahead and look at that. That's 2680. I'm going to click on the positioning tab here and go to 2680 on the square feet, which if I scroll through is right here. I'm going to click select properties, which allows me then to add a text box to that. The other thing I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to add a subject property. What this allows us to do is really show the, the pricing quadrants and show how we compare in a very visual way. Now to do that, I'm going to click here, add user property, which opens this dialog box. And let's say that we are at 1234 address drive, and we are a subject property. Now what you'll find here is it adds a blank subject property into the MLS data. Now what we need to do is make sure we type in at least the relevant information. For example, in this case, since we're using total square footage, we're going to type in the total square footage. And since we're thinking we're going to be at the 430,000 price range, we're going to type that in so that we can see that subject property on the graph. Now in this case, we're going to click Create Graph Options. And when this pops up, we're going to make sure we click this button here that says Show Positioning Quadrants. This will really give us a great visual representation of what positioning looks like in this area. Let that do its work and you can see it opens up right here. I'm going to move these boxes just so you can see it a little better. And you can see how that pricing quadrants really looks to show you how we're comparing and what those lines look like. And you can see also we can type in these boxes if we want to that this one for example has an unfinished basement or whatever might be relevant for us when we're looking at positioning against that property. And that's how we're going to really make these graphs really stand out and really show everything to the customer and also help us price very accurately. Now that we've created these beautiful graphs though, it's time to print them and that's what the next video is going to go all into.